Skepticism regarding future economic growth in the Eurozone has increased dramatically. The ZEW indicator of economic sentiment for Germany and the Eurozone was released today. And joining me now to talk more about the results is Christian D. Dick, an economist at ZEW. Christian, confidence among German investors is deteriorating. The index dropped to minus 37.6, which has come as quite a surprise. So why such a drastic drop? Well, I mean, it appears that um, the um, pessimism in the market um, with regards to um, future economic growth has increased dramatically in the last weeks. So um, the, the indicator basically reflects what we have seen in the financial markets recently. Um, negative scenarios for the global economy appear more likely today than some weeks ago. How is the German economy actually looking at the moment? And what are some of the pressures the EU debt troubles are putting on the economy? Overall, the German economy is in rather good shape, and the, um, the, send, the indicator about the economic situation we have, we have released today is still a very good one, with 53.5%. Um, but um, obviously, um, the large drop can be seen as a warning signal um, that, um, of course, the eurozone debt crisis, as well as um, the downgrades of U.S. bonds, um, do put some pressure, um, or might at least um, make um, passive pessimistic scenarios for um, the global economy more realistic. Last week's statistics revealed the German economy almost stalled in the second quarter. Should we start to be concerned that the engine of European growth is beginning to slow down? Well, um, I mean, there has always been the expectation that growth rates in Germany will be slowing down because they have been very high in the beginning of the year. So I think that's basically what we are facing now. And we might have seen this earlier than originally expected, that there have been disappointing figures in the second quarter already. So um, that's probably also um, what we will face in the next month. There, there are growth rates, um, which are much more moderate than the ones um, we have seen at the beginning of the year. What about some of the economic expectations for Germany over the next six months or so? What kind of direction is the German economy expected to take towards the end of this year and into the beginning of next year? Well, the, um, uh, as I said, I mean, there, there, there is a slowdown in growth rates, and um, that's probably also the, the path um, we will see in the next month. It, of, of course, depends also um, about the, um, uh, how the, the economies are doing in the Far East and, um, and how, um, how well the U.S. economy will be doing um, ultimately. But um, it appear, at the moment, uh, we have, for example, today we've seen a um, rather strong PMI for, for Germany so um, there is still um, economic strength um, and, and, and so we are, we are facing more moderate growth rates than, than, than before um, but still in a positive uh, direction. In terms of the Eurozone as a whole, the Economic Expectation Index fell in July to minus 7 from minus 9 in June. Today's figures show that the Eurozone economic sentiment declined to minus 40 in August. Confidence is extremely low at the moment, but Christian, how long for? Yeah, I mean, the, um, there's, it's obvious that the financial markets are um, are showing um, concerns about um, the refinancing of, of, of government debt um, for the Eurozone or for, for some countries in particular of the Eurozone. And this, of course, puts pressure on public spending programs, on um, the need for consolidation, um, which, of course, um, also um, yeah, is likely to slow down the economy in those countries. A final question. Out of curiosity, what's your view? View on the idea of buying euro bonds as a mean to solve the debt crisis. Well, um, the buying euro bonds is probably an issue um, which is um, at, at the moment um, probably not really solving the debt crisis. I mean, it could probably calm markets um, for a while, but at the end, um, the debt crisis originates from uh, too high levels of public debt in, in different countries, and um, what's, what's needed is to, to keep um, to keep the incentives in a way um, to make governments reducing this, these debts. Um, otherwise, at the end, um, the these problems about um, too high debt levels and refinancing problems will continue um, in the next years as well. Thank you very much, Christian. There'll be more financial interviews and targets and focus throughout the week, so stay tuned. Goodbye.